the opening of the spill gate of the Wager Dam by the Ghana Water Company, which some residents claim was done unannounced. The spillage of excess water from the dam is to save it from collapse following the recent heavy rains. Affected communities include Obulogo, Tetegu, New Wager, NCC, Tap Top, Sampa Valley, part of Top Town, and English in Amount Room. The entire communities are flooded, leaving residents displaced. Properties destroyed include uncompleted structures, vehicles, home appliances, and other personal belongings which have all been submerged. Many of the victims blame the Ghana Water Company for not handling the situation well. How they are behaving? It's so sad that as a Ghanaian, baby, I do at this age, at this modern age, we are not serious as a nation. But is here to help you. To do what? Are they coming to cut face? Look at them. Look at them. Are we serious as a country? We have institutions and institutions are not working. Why? My question is, my question is, who is in charge for the water? Who is responsible? Who is the engineer at the site? We have people who, re, who reside here. We have a lot of residents here. People, this is where people live. So if rain starts, if, when it starts raining, somebody is supposed to be responsible. We use state money to pay people. What was the last? We use state money, we use state money to pay people. The people who are supposed to in charge, we are going to team up. We are going to take Ghana water to court. Somebody is responsible. Business activities have ground to a halt. Schools have closed down as the water level keeps rising. Total, we have 8,209 children that their learning have been affected. We have three BEC centers that have been submerged, and we have 629 children that will be writing in that centers. Currently, what we are doing is that we have secured temporary structures for two of the schools that will start teaching the form trays from Friday. We have also preempted and pressed the emergency button looking for the other alternate centers where if the water should be there up to the 11 days, the children would arrive as well. The Municipal Health Directorate and management of some hospitals are contemplating on what action to take. We are pleading that those who are out there, those who are deep where the water is coming from, they should all come out here and then um, to, to make our work easier. What we are worried about is cholera. You know, cholera is, is our main concern now. Cholera is our main concern now because looking at the flood, it is going everywhere. Some youth are venting their frustration on stray animals. The municipal chief executive of the area, Patrick Kumo, assured residents of relief items. Today we, 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 are expect to, we are expecting to take delivery of some relief items. Those items will be provided, some food also will be provided to people who are also displayed. I've been earmarked as uh, safe havens, are also being prepared so that people that have been affected can be moved to those areas whilst we monitor the situation. According to the Ghana Water Company, all four spill gates have been opened to safeguard the integrity of the dam and prevent it from collapse to save lives and properties. As the water levels continue to rise, many of the residents still trapped here are pleading with NADMO to bring them some relief items, including food, because they have nothing to feed on. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibi TV3, Tetegu.